Hey guys, what's going on? It's Epic Shooter Zero One here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys the first episode to my uh, Photoshop tutorial series. And uh, before we start, I'm gonna let you guys know that I'm not used to these type of commentaries, so I might screw up a bit and I might get you confused a little bit. So you might want to rewatch the video several times if you are confused. Um, so with that being said, let's just continue with the video. Okay, so. Um, before we start, uh, please make sure that you download the image that's in the description uh, because that will make things a whole lot easier for both of us. And I'll just use that image to use for this tutorial and to practice with it and all that. Alright, uh, so now that you have the uh, image downloaded, hopefully, uh, let, well, you'll be ready to go on with the tutorial. Uh, today I'm gonna be make I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this type of logo. I'll just wait for it to load. This type of logo right here. As you can tell, it looks rather attractive. It looks rather neat, and it was actually really really simple to make. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna show you how to make today. And yeah, and yes, I am going to show you how to make this type these types of logos as well um, but that will have to be in another episode alright so now let's just begin and uh, to make things easy for us uh, I decided to turn on touch indicators so whenever I say press this or press that you'll know where and what I'm talking about and yeah alright so now let's start with the blank document and to access that you have to press the plus sign uh, right here for width and height put 800 uh, this is the appropriate size if you want to set this as a profile pic in any type of site actually and yeah so once you uh, put 800 for both width and height just press OK and you'll be greeted to this screen okay so now you're right here in your blank document and you want to get your letter now okay so you could use any type of letter uh, for me I'm gonna be using E since it's the first letter in my username and uh, to make this easy convenient simple and fast uh, to get your letter what you will want to do is go over here to this and symbol uh, go to text and uh, right over here what you would want to do is scroll down and choose the My Riot Pro font, the one that's shaded right now. Just choose that one, and once you chose that one, just make the just make the thing bigger by uh, dragging one of these uh, circles right here. Just make it bigger to the point where you could actually see it. And right over here, what you would want to do is just tap on it and just put the letter that you want. All right, so now. That that's done uh, just go over here and press that to make it bold and that's what you want to do uh, to make this uh, to make the logo look more sort of noticeable and attractive and stuff and yeah all right so now what you would want to do is from the top right corner drag your finger and uh, as you could tell both the width and height are increasing which is why I want you to drag it from the top right corner so both the width and height increase at the same time um, and just try to make it big to at least 750 percent doesn't have to be exact but it does have to be near 750 percent all right so now that you have that height and width uh, you just want to have the letter be in the middle as possible all right so let's see that looks yeah no well that's good enough yeah that, that is good enough all right so now that the letter is uh, 750 percent of both width and height and it's in the middle then you are ready to proceed to the next step so you just press the check and there you have it you could tell it's right there and uh, yeah okay so now it's time to put that image that I told you guys to download from in the description Alright, so um, that image, to access it, you just go over here to this image uh, with the plus sign over here. Just tap that, 
and um, for you guys that image will would most likely be under downloads but for my but for me it's gonna be under this folder because I set it there uh, but just find the image and just tap on it and press add and right over here just press the check mark uh, because what you would want to do is something that will actually help you out a lot all right so just make sure that the Im that that image layer is selected so just tap on that just to make sure and go right over here and change the opacity down to at least 40 all right as you can tell the opacity is set down and the only reason why we want the opacity set down that low is so when we're actually changing uh, the image size we could actually tell where the soldier will be located on the letter all right so now just remake sure that the uh, soldier or that image uh, layer is selected and press right here and that's just to move the image all right so now that you're here just make the image bigger to make that soldier bigger and just make the soldier big enough to where it um, covers up a little bit of the letter but don't make it like humongous to the point like where the whole letter is covered up and you can't tell what type of letter it is uh, so yeah it just has to be a little bit bigger it just has to be a little bit big but not so big so that looks good enough yeah that looks good so you could tell you could still tell that it's a e even though the character is covering it up a little uh, and that's what you want you just you just want the character to sort of cover up the e a, quite a bit but not enough to the point where you don't where you can't even tell that the letter is a e or whatever letter you're using all right so that's good so if you're satisfied with what you have uh, then you're just ready to go to the next step. So let's just press the check mark. Okay, so that's done. So let's just bring the opacity back all the way up to 100. And now let's just deselect that layer, meaning hide that layer. And to do that, just press on that circle thing right there. As you can tell, whenever you press it, it will just hide it or just make it show up again. And again, how I said before, you just want to hide it. And now what you want to do is choose the letter layer and now over here on the left you want to long press on that thing right there at the very top right there with the touch indicators at and uh, you want to slide down without letting go okay just slide down now over here just go to the right one and choose the magic wand tool and to select it you just um, slide to the magic wand tool and then just let, just let your finger go of the screen and it'll be selected all right uh, and the reason what the reason why we want this is to select the letter so all you have to do is just tap on the letter and as you can tell it's selected uh, now make sure that you selected the the uh, letter layer because if you like let's say you have that but you want to select the letter uh, and you have that right here and yeah it won't select the letter at all as you can tell that's why I wanted you to hide the image so that will show up and you'll know that you didn't select the letter layer all right so the letter layer right there so just again select the letter once that's selected just uh, make that uh, soldier image just uh, pop up pop back up again or show up again and as you could tell, the letter E is highlighted uh, with uh, the dashes and stuff. And you could tell it's moving. And yeah. So now, just go over here to the uh, left again. Scroll down back to the magic wand tool. But scroll to the right and choose the brush selection tool. Alright, so now, uh, choose, go back over here to this layer section and choose the soldier image. Oops, did not mean to do that. Okay, so now you chose the soldier image. And now you just want to go over here back to the um, left where all your tools are at and press this check mark or that dash with check on it. And yeah, so now you're ready to select the soldier. 
and uh, to select soldiers parts just go over here and just scribble over here on the edges because that's just because that's the important part just the edges right now just try to get as perfect as possible just to make it look really good um, but if you just want to you know practice practice on uh, with it a little bit and you just go all out crazy but for me since I already know how to do it I'm just gonna try to make it as perfect as possible as you can tell right here and yeah there we go okay and now let's just make our brush bigger and you can just change the brush size to whatever size you want yeah, that's good. All right. So right here, just color that. And there we go. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. So now over here. Um, so again, you just select all like all of the soldier. And right here, the, si the edges are really important. Just try to get as much as soldier as possible. All right. And... Um, I don't usually get the environment, but like if it's something like this with the um, with the exosuit and this guy, it's like sort of you know detached and stuff. Um, well, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna select everything all the way to over there, even though there's a little bit of environment in between the gap. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna select all of this, and bam, there we go. And so now just select all of that to get rid of those dashes. And yeah, it looks good so far. So now just go over here. And again, just select all the edges as possible. Go over here. Okay, good enough. All right, just select all of that. And ta-da! Wow, that actually looks good. All right, so now it's time to get the muzzle. So let's just bring down our brush size. It's a bit, and there we go. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, that's good enough. All right, so your soldier is selected. As you can tell, the, um, the dashes are now on the edges of the soldier as well. And now it's time to extract the soldier and the letter all right so to do that you just go over here to this pencil thing at the very top just press that and press extract and there you have it guys there's your letter and the character popping out sort of well the character popping out of the letter sort of and yeah it looks rather neat doesn't it all right so now this letter layer right here is useless now you so you could just deselect it or you could just put it all the way down to the bottom so you know that it's not necessary anymore and now you just want to get rid of those dashes and there's two ways one by just clicking outside or two just going over here and just press deselect all right so now it's time to finish up this logo all right so now it's time to add the finishing touches and uh, for the background to not have this, you know, plane and stuff and not, it, which we're going to add the same image again, or you could just choose an image from the internet and just put it as the background. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to show you how to do it with the same image uh, that was provided, which is that one. Again, just add it just as it is because we would want to change the opacity, the opacity again. Except this time it could be 50. And yeah, so now we just have to move it to a point where the image is actually covering the whole background like that. And also you could just move it around to uh, see what you like. Like, okay, so you can move the image to whichever point you want. So like, let's say you want it like that right here, which showing a little bit of that. And, we're, and yeah just you know just right here at this point it's just all up to you you could just make it bigger to the point where it doesn't even show so um show the soldier or you could just make it um big enough to where it does show the soldier and stuff yeah it's all up to you 
But for me, I just want this corner right over here. As you can tell, right there at the border. Uh, just this corner right here showing. Now just bring the opacity back all the way up. And uh, uh, what you want to do is uh, just long press that layer. Just drag it down. And there you have it. Uh, so now as you can tell the uh, soldier with the letter is now in front and uh, just to make it show up a bit more uh, just press the letter with the soldier on it go to right here where it says um, FX which stands for um, uh, effects press on glow and just choose whichever color you want from here and for me I'm just gonna go with a plain white As you could tell it's a little bit more noticeable but we want it to be noticed a little bit more uh, and to do that, I just usually go over here to that other image that's in the background. Uh, go back to effects. Uh, choose Gaussian blur. I just changed the blur, the blurriness to 10. Oops. To, God dang it. To 10. Check. And as you can tell, it's even more noticeable than before. And you are now basically done with your logo. As you can tell, it looks really nice. It looks awesome. It looks amazing. And yeah. Okay, so now it's just time to save it. And over here, and to save it into your gallery, um, all you have to do is just press this up top. Press Save to Gallery. Go down over here and choose PNG because uh, with the PNG image, let's say you upload it uh, to your Twitter or you tweet it out. Um, and you download it, or or someone downloads it, then uh, with the PNG, uh, they'll they'll have the same quality of an image as you have of the uh, logo, um, compared to a JPEG where like it actually decreases the quality a bit. Uh, so that's the only reason why I'm changing it to a PNG. Uh, and then choose the logo, and then just press OK. And now it's saved to our gallery. So now we just go over here to photos or whichever app you use to um, have your uh, photos in. And there you have it. There it is. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Alright, so um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that got you confused a bit and you would have to go back in, into the video and, you know, re-watch it several times. I'm really sorry about that. I'm not used to these type of commentaries as I stated before. Um... But yeah, so I'll just see you guys later with a new episode. And that is all I really have to say right now. Uh, so yeah, so enjoy your new logo. And peace.